Welcome back. I'm going to carry on with the exhaust ports, still on the first head. Um, sadly, this is a learning curve for me as well, despite having done many other heads. Um, I haven't done many Jeep heads, but uh, from the knowledge, I, shouldn't, I should be able to do quite well. I have gotten good advice from a friend of mine, Tuna as well, Savvy Kutia, well known in South Africa. Um, he's done many heads, he's quite a good one heads. So, uh, let's carry on over here. I've smoothed this short bend. The short bend that goes in here, I've smoothed it. The, the, at the factory, it's horrible. It's like a real power thief. I've taken that away with all the ports already. I'm just going to match sort of these ones, sort of where, where it flows into that. So let's just, uh, I'm not going to take a lot of material out. It's just a matter of smoothing it out to, without a flow bench. It's difficult to get a perfect flow. So we're doing this. It will be improvements. However, not perfect, but now there's the factory. If you look at the factory ones, some have got a bigger bump than the other ones. Let's get going. Yes, I have put grease. I have put grease on the bit so that the aluminium doesn't stick to it. the camera over a bit I need space to work there's a little bump it's difficult to show on the camera a little bump as it comes out the, uh, just past the valve guide so the valve guide and there's the aluminium there's a, there's a bump over there which we need to get rid of The idea is to have as little restriction and as, and as easy for the gases to get out as possible. Um, again, as you guys can see, the ports are raw ports, they are brand new ports with, if I memory serves me right, with a 0.15 interference um, which is where these heads fell short when they assembled at the factory uh, the interference or the fitting or whatever it was wasn't right hence why the moment they overheat once there's a tendency of dropping valve seats so this is supposed to rectify, these guys claim and they come highly recommended that they've done many such heads and never had a comeback. So let's see and let's hope. Well, we don't need hope when we're doing things properly, eh? Okay, that's 
This is beautiful, smooth as it comes out, as it comes out the valve seat. There's a slight, 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 slight. There's a tension over there. Yes. Well, I haven't given it much work there. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can clean out uh, his head or the port that I can show this play or whatever you want to call it the difference Let's see how close we can get to that Let's see if we can see the difference. The difference in the port. It's difficult to get in there with the camera. I do have an Enoscope camera, but the image, the quality of that is pathetic. And I'd rather do it like this, see a little bit less. I can always put the Enoscope in later on when it's finished and incorporate the original. Um, let's try and turn the heads around, see if we can see anything from the other side. With well, showing. Let's be careful of this. And let's see if we can see. No, it's difficult. Uh, it's difficult. Not sure if we can see anything. Or how much you can see that's worthwhile seeing. Um, I've been working on that short bend and I'm going to carry on. It really feels much better what I did originally. And I can see, I can almost feel the horsepower. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry for bumping the camera all over the show. Um, I'll make another video as we go along later on, step for step. Uh, I'm putting the camera off so I can work without worrying about the camera and blocking the camera. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, if it's been of any help, uh, please do subscribe. I need subscribers to push up the rating on my channel. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.